Like, how do you introduce yourself? Welcome to my YouTube. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna watch people's and it doesn't seem this hard. Yo, what up? <laughs> Awkward. Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Savella Chantel and this is my first video. Um, I thought I would do a question and answer just to kind of introduce myself to the YouTube world. But before we get started, I would love if everybody could subscribe and then also turn on the notifications because I do plan on posting videos once a week. And the first question is, are you named after anyone? I am. I'm actually named after my maternal grandmother. She grew up thinking her name was Rosemary. And then when she went to get a work permit when she was a teenager, she found out her name was legally Savella. And she passed away in 2011. But that was my girl. She was my heart. I call her my old lady. And I feel truly blessed and honored to be named after her. What is your middle name? My middle name is Chantel. My mom actually said she wanted it to be Chantel because she wanted to call me Shawnee. But she clearly spelled it wrong. Good job, Valerie. Do you have kids? I do not have kids yet. But I am with the person that I plan on spending the rest of my life. And we both want a family. So that is somewhere in our near future. Do you use sarcasm? I use sarcasm probably way too much. Um, I honestly just feel like it makes everything better, but I understand that it can also be offensive sometimes. So I try to like, I try to control it. I try. What's the first thing you notice about people? Their energy. I think energy is very important. If you're not right, I just, bye. I don't have time for you. My eye color, these big old things are brown. Scary movie or happy ending for sure. Happy ending. Everybody, who who wants a bad ending? We all want a happy ending. Favorite smells. I love a good men's cologne. It's just like, when my man puts on a good cologne and he just walks past me, it's just the best thing ever. And I also love when babies smell like baby magic lotion. Like every baby is supposed to smell like baby magic lotion. Do I have any special talent? <laughs> um... What do you do, Sabella? I mean, I feel like I'm special. I actually do. When the movie Lilo and Stitch came out, I was so heated because since elementary, I have talked in this little voice and it sounds just like Stitch. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. <laughs> I was so mad when that movie came out. I just feel like I could be rich by now. Where were you born? I was born in the zoo. That's Kalamazoo. I was born and raised in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I'm the oldest of five. The next under me is 22. Then there's a 20 year old, a 19 year old, and a 13 year old. I think he's like 35. How tall are you? I am 5'5". Five five. Who was your best friend growing up? My best friend growing up was Danielle. I call her Donnie Boo. Um, we kind of grew apart once we got to high school. Um, but we keep in contact here and there through Facebook now. Funniest moment throughout school? Elementary, I decided that I wanted to be a cheerleader. And if you know me, you know I'm very monotone and dry and super laid back. And so a cheerleader is just not for real my thing. But I tried it, whatever. And on the first game, we were all supposed to like run out and, you know, get the crowd hype. And so I decided to be fancy and do a cartwheel. And while I can do cartwheels, I, well, I have, I don't know if I can still do one right now, but I could for sure do one then. But as I'm like mid cartwheel, one of my teammates like hits me or something. And I just like fall flat on my back in front of the entire gym. And all I hear is rolling, rolling, rolling thunder. My teacher had yelled that. <laughs> How many countries have you visited? Does the U.S. count? Well, I'm going to count it. Um, beyond that, UAE, Jordan, and Mexico. What's my favorite drink? Like adult drink? Or just drink? I love carbonated water. Any sort of carbonated water. Like LaCroix. I like the Myers Fruity brand. Always have a sparkling water on deck. Next question... What sports have you played? I played basketball and softball. Basketball elementary to high school and softball. I didn't play until high school. How many boyfriends have you had? First of all, honestly, 
the only one that counts is the one that I'm with now. Everybody before that was a test dummy, test dummy. My favorite childhood memory, my favorite childhood memory is for sure my grandparents. Both of my maternal grandparents have passed away. My father's parents are still alive. My parents had me when they were 21, so my grandparents were just key key players in raising me. Um, so I feel like every child should be able to experience that love of a grandparent. And while, of course, the love of a parent is amazing, it's just a totally different level um, with a grandparent. And so I truly cherish those moments that I was able to have and have with my grandparents. Tell us one of your bad habits. Running dishwater and not loading the dishwasher. Like loading it and then walking away and leaving it there. And it's still there the next morning, which then just makes for gross, nasty, cold dishwater. Um... I mean, I could say I'm gonna work on it, but I know it's just a bad habit that it's not gonna go away. My pet peeve, one of my pet peeves is shoes in the house. Like since I was a child, I hate when people have shoes in the house. If I liked you when I was a kid, I would actually hide your shoes. <laughs> but now as an adult, I just, I don't like when people have shoes in the house. One, it's rude to walk on somebody's carpet with your shoes, but it just makes you feel more at home when people don't have their shoes on. When's the last time you cried? This past weekend I mean look at you guys getting older and especially as a woman I feel like our emotions are just everywhere I just cry so I cried last weekend and I'm okay with that my guilty pleasure I love 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 perfume like it's really bad how much perfume I have and I switch it up every day when I get dressed after I put my makeup on then I put my perfume on like that's the last thing that goes on and I smell a couple bottles and whichever one like stands out to me that day that's the one I put on so I wear my perfume based on my mood. Did you go to college? I did. I actually attended Western Michigan University for my undergrad career and then my master's I attended the rival school which is Central Michigan University. What are my hobbies? My hobbies are I really love reading now as an adult. I was not a kid that grew up enjoying reading but now as an adult I love escaping into a good book. I love photography. I actually started off my undergrad career major in photography and then dropped it as a major and just did not make the time for it after but I still have all these great cameras and I have a great eye like not tooting my own horn but I have a great eye so I've really told myself that I need to pick that back up. I love traveling. I anytime like I can get out then I am getting out. What do you want to be when you grow up? I mean, I feel like I'm grown because I for sure pay all my bills, but what did I want to be when I grew up? I wanted to be everything. Any, It just depended on the way the wind blew or what I seen on TV or how I was feeling or what my imagination was doing. I wanted to be everything and my parents always let me know that I could do anything I wanted to. Um, I am actually an HR professional for a Fortune 40 company right now and I for sure never seen myself in this career, but I truly love it. And I get to talk to people and learn about them. I get to sew into them. I learn a lot from people and give them some money along the way. Like there's, there's just no better thing. I feel like I can for sure retire from this field. I know that I do not want to be in a nine to five forever, but I can for sure be in this field for a very long time. My end goal is to just be happy and have a very limit, limitless style of living. And when I say that, that just means that I have the means to get up and go where I want to. I can provide for my family. And when I say my family, not just my household family, but my parents and anybody who had a hand in raising me, I just feel like once you get to a point where you can help to take care of other people or that you can bless somebody else then that's what you need to do and i also want to be able to give back to my hometown so that's the last question um i hope that you guys were able to learn a little bit about me if there's anything else you guys want to know keep it appropriate but drop it in the comments below ask me a question and i will answer it also let me know one thing about yourselves i would love to get to know the people who are watching and following me and until next time Subscribe.